Good morning. It's Tuesday, 3rd of November 2015. This is Sylvia Shivamurthy and you're listening to the newspaper reviews on www.adivanenj.com. Let's now look at the news highlights from today's newspapers. The top headline in daily news says, Two committees to probe baton charge on HNDA students, one appointed by PM, other by NPC. Both committees to act independently of each other. Two top-level committees, one appointed by the Prime Minister and the other by the National Police Commission, will conduct separate probes into last Thursday's police assault on protesting higher national diploma in accountancy students. Another highlight says, President inaugurates exposition of sacred relics in Thailand. President Maitripala Sirisena inaugurated the exposition of the sacred relics from the Mahayangana Rajamaha Viharaya at the Buddha Mantan Temple in Thailand last afternoon. The cultural and religious relationship between Sri Lanka and Thailand date back to centuries and diplomatic relations between the two countries were established 60 years ago. The Prime Minister of Thailand, General Prayut Chawan Cha, also participated at this ceremony. The total Buddhist population of Thailand is 96%. In parallel to the President's state visit, the sacred relics brought to Thailand from Mahayangana Rajamaha Viharaya and 60 Buddhist monks who accompanied the President on the visit also participated at this exposition. The exposition will continue until November 16th. The special public exposition of sacred relics from Mahayangana Rajamaha Viharaya was inaugurated amidst the chanting of Set Pirit by the Mahasangha including Venerable Itipane Dhammalankara Nayakathera, Chief Incumbent of the Mahayangana Rajamaha Viharaya, Venerable Uluwate Dhammarakitathera. The highlight at the top left corner says, Fish Rain in Madhavachyu Villagers in Madhavachya and Radhapura were astounded to witness a rainfall of tiny fish on Sunday night. Villagers said they heard something heavy falling on roofs and found scores of small fish when they went outside. The people described the fish as similar to Dandia, a freshwater fish found abundantly in lakes in the northern and central province. And the highlight at the bottom says, S.F. Loka confesses to Vasanta Soiza's killing. Police looking for S.F. Loka's sword. Ayan Roshan alias SF Loka, who was arrested in connection with the murder of Guinness record holder Wasanta Soiza, has confessed that he is fully responsible for the planning and killing of Wasanta. He has confessed the police investigators that the manager of Wasanta's nightclub had asked him to come to the nightclub and have drinks without making any payment. Let's now move to the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The top headline in Daily Mirror says, Blast on Mali President's boat, Maldivian arrested in Sri Lanka. A Maldivian suspected of being connected to an alleged plot of assassinate Maldivian President Abdullah Yamin was deported yesterday. He was arrested on Sunday at Nedimala by police and immigration officers, Burles Gamu police. The Maldives government insisted that its president had survived an assassination attempt on his boat even though the FBI found no evidence of a bomb blast that led to the arrest of his deputy. The highlight at the top left corner says, SLTB lawsuit against MR on November 11th. The Colombo Commercial High Court has fixed November 11th for the Sri Lanka Transport Board to support the lawsuit filed against ex-president Mahinda Rajapaksha and six UPFA election committee members who are alleged to have defaulted on a payment of 14 million rupees owed to the SLTB for hiring its buses to transport people to Mr. Rajapaksha's propaganda meetings. Another highlight says, We are talking to the government on a political solution, says TNA. The Tamil National Alliance is holding bilateral talks with government leaders to evolve a political solution to the national question based on power sharing party officials said yesterday. And there's another highlight which says, Sassani hospitalized again. HNDA student Sassani Sandeepani, who was beaten by a policeman during a protest at Ward Place, had been admitted to the National Hospital again on Sunday afternoon because of constant head pains. And the highlight at the top right corner says, Sri Lankan flight diverted to Matala. The Sri Lankan flight UL230 flying from Kuwait to the Bandar Naika International Airport was diverted to the Matala Rajapaksha International Airport yesterday morning due to heavy mists in the Kadunaika area. And now let's move to the paper highlights from Ceylon today. The main headline says, 
PM appoints special committee. And another highlight says NPC sets up three member probe team. The highlight at the bottom says Duminda allowed medical treatment abroad. A special three bench panel of the Colombo High Court judges yesterday allowed former MP Duminda Silva to leave the country to undergo treatments in Singapore. And another highlight says Sri Lankan leader seeks to boost trade ties. Sri Lankan President Maitripala Sirisena's three-day official visit to Thailand aims to cement close religious and trade ties between the two countries, according to the government. Sirisena made the trip following an invitation by the Prime Minister Prayu Chawan Cha and he will meet the Premier at the government house today. We brought you the paper highlights from today's newspapers and we'll be bringing back more tomorrow. Thank you.